Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a little grocery haul. Um, so I've just been to the supermarket and got our weekly shop. Uh, we do actually go to the supermarket twice because we want all our food fresh. But um, we get most of our things once a week and then a few days later we'll get a bit more salad and veg and things like that. So we shop at Aldi as... We find that it's cheap, good quality, and yeah, that's basically it. And there's a lot of variety in there. They've also started to do a lot of their own things, um, copying other brands and things like that. So um, I will start with the first bag. So Greek yogurt. Now. Obviously, we used to have the Total Fudge Greek yogurt, and Aldi's is literally the same sort of macros, but about a pound fifty cheaper per tub. And as we buy a lot of it, that works obviously out a lot cheaper. So we usually have this on an evening with protein powder and maybe like peanut butter, that sort of thing. Um, I'm obviously on a massive health kick now, like obviously from my previous video you'll have seen that I went through a really bad stage of binge eating and I just feel awful, I feel lethargic, I'm tired, I haven't even been to the gym today because I just cannot be bothered and it genuinely hurts me that people must feel like this all the time and just think that it's normal so I have done a health shop and I will track everything for the week tonight on my fitness pal and I'll eat the same thing every day during the week. So I've got also got some cauliflower and parsley rice. Never tried it before. It was about 60p, so I just thought why not? But it's got good macros per serving. It's got two grams of carbs, two and a half grams of protein, and not like five grams of um, that smells awful <laughs> of fat and it smells disgusting but I'm excited to try it have it with some tuna or something later on this evening obviously we've got our blueberries um, raspberries we freeze these um, as we find them, and strawberries berries we freeze them as we find they last a lot longer um, and we just put them in with our porridge and obviously the heat from the porridge and freezes them so then we've got asparagus, one of my favourite veggies, spinach, we just get a small bag because then we'll buy another one in a few days because um, we don't we want it obviously to be as fresh as possible. Um, more yoghurt, broccoli heartbeat broccoli please get that green veg in there for all your nutrients and your vitamins and um, also got some courgettes I fancy to switch up with veg so I'm going to do some roasted courgettes and some roasted parsnips because I love parsnips and I just feel like my diet needs more variety but also obviously been healthy so I love parsnips and I thought why not um, what else have we got in here I've got some pomegranate seeds which I absolutely love putting on salads um, there's not much there's not many calories in here uh, and it's just a nice little twist to add to salads or with your veg or in smoothies in your yoghurt um, just yeah nice little touch to add um, and then I've got turkey breast steaks which I cook um, at the beginning of the week and then I've also got turkey mint which I'll have with obviously veg um, and I also got this Thai green curry kit um, I mean the macros are great there's not that much sugar in there um, but instead of having a cheat meal this weekend, like a proper dirty one, I thought I would make us a turkey Thai green curry. 
um, a bit of a healthier option than a big pizza or something like that and I love Thai green curry and Aldi, I mean you just can't go wrong with Aldi, I think it was about £1.69 something like that, um, more turkey so that's our fresh food um, for the week so as you can see there's not that much it's just nice and simple not too much variety but there's enough to keep us interested for the week lots of healthy meats healthy proteins healthy carbs healthy sugars and I'll pop this away and then I will take you through our hard foods like food that you don't put in the fridge I'm not really sure what you call it um, cupboard foods I'll take you through our cupboard foods second part of our food shop so first thing is wraps uh, I think they're a quick and easy post workout option got good carbs low fat um, and we have some original ones and also have the super soft both so um, a bit of brown a bit of white so a good source of fiber good carbohydrate um, is one of my favourite things ever is the granola I just love the stuff um, I thought I'd try the lighter version um, it's got less sugar and less fat it's still granola doesn't have great carbs but I do like to have it for my pre-workout sometimes so this is raspberry and apple so again it's Aldi hopefully that will be quite good so obviously I weigh everything and it will fit right into my macros um, got loads and loads of rice um, I'm currently not eating rice but this is what Josh eat and I think this is Aldi's version which is 40p a bag which is just insane um, loads of tuna we have tuna in spring water as it's the best one for you um, I think tuna from Aldi again is like 40p a tin. So we've got obviously tissue, we've got loads of tuna. Um, sun dried tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, good in salads. Good on like snack jacks, rivetas, that kind of thing. Just a nice little touch to add to yeah salads and make other foods taste it obviously they're in oil so I don't have loads of these but again it's just another healthy healthy little thing to have in the diet what else have we got um, sweet potato because we love sweet potato um, obviously it's got a lot of vitamin C in there um, which is obviously a better fee than white potato. Obviously, I do love white potato, but vitamin C gives you that little bit. Sweet potato gives you that little bit of something extra. So again, Aldi cost is just cheap. As chips. Um, so then we've got eggs. Got loads of eggs. Make sure I'm not smashed. So we get free range, or as you can see, large, where's large, there we go, um, free range eggs, obviously I wouldn't not buy free range eggs, better for the environment, better for our little pet chickens, um, again Aldi I think it's less than a pound for 12, which is just again insane, so obviously we're talking omelettes, fried eggs, poached eggs, scrambled eggs, I mean you can do the amount you can do with eggs is just endless, obviously. And I also, I mean, 
I've known Aldi is, you know, a good place to shop for quite a while now. Um, and then I decided to bring these little functional foods out. Little bad boy functional foods. So this is maca powder and it is really good source of vitamin B uh, which helps reduce tiredness and fatigue which obviously I am both of those things right now so I thought I would add this maca powder to my uh, Greek yogurt before bed um, what I have with my protein and peanut butter don't know if it tastes fine I'm not really bothered I'm more interested in the health benefits so I'll just sprinkle a little bit bit onto my yogurt and I think this was just over two pound, which again, it's not that bad for Aldi. You just can't go wrong with Aldi, can you? And then I've got these bad boys. I'm not saying that these are really healthy, but just if I feel like I need a chocolate fix, I will head to my milk chocolate curry rice cakes instead. Uh, the gluten free um, per rice cake, there's Five grams of sugar, three grams of fat, eight to two cows, which I don't think that's too bad. So again, I'm not gonna definitely have one of these. It's just if I fancy that chocolate fix, and I do not want to head for the chocolate bars anymore because that is why I turn into a danger. And last but not least, um. Himalayan pink salt. Uh, I didn't get this in Aldi because they don't sell it in there. But this stuff is bad boy. Um, it's great um, amino acids in there. It's good for dehydration. Um, this is Lucy B's. She obviously does like the coconut oil. Um, it's got amazing vitamins and minerals in there. It's such a better um, alternative to normal table salt. You can also put it in your bath water. You can put it in water and just drink it. Um, it makes your food taste amazing. And I, this is definitely a staple in my diet. Um, literally would not be without the Himalayan pink salt. And I've also just got some of these beans. Because um, again... Be great for post workout, great source of protein and fibre and sugar. Uh, not again, not something I have every day, just if I need a quick little pick me up because you can't beat beans on toast. So I'll just put these away. Just a few more staple things in my diet includes um coconut oil so I tend to get things like this from Holland Barrett as I feel are fine should I say they're always on offer it's always like buy one get one free buy one get one half price half price 20% off I think we got this Vita Coco coconut oil obviously a really good brand as well 750ml we got it for about £7 I think it was over half price um, I also like this linseed stuff, I put that in my porridge, put it in my yoghurt, uh, it's mainly fats but we're talking goji berries, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, good source of vitamins, good source of fats. Um, I also take a shot of this every morning which is Udo's Choice Greens Powder, it tastes absolutely vile it is probably the most disgusting thing i've ever drunk it takes about five minutes but i do know the health benefits of this it helps you go to the toilet if that's something you struggle from um really good source of vitamins iron really good for the immune system and a really good thing to kick start your day um last but not least again i get this from holland and barrett um oh well Fry light, also another really good alternative to cooking if you don't want the calories from the coconut oil. Which obviously they're good calories, but sometimes I don't always want them. And crunch peanut butter, Meridian, again, kilo tub, I think it cost us about £10. And look at that bad boy. <gasps> it smells amazing. So yeah, there we go. Um 
think that concludes my grocery haul so yeah it's not anything obviously not anything exciting I just thought a lot of people ask me what I eat in a day and those are pretty much all the foods that I consume I've tried Fit Fit Shaw macros it is not for me it makes me feel sluggish and horrible and I just like healthy wholesome foods that is what fitness is all about and it really frustrates me that fitness has become about eating what you want and that is not a healthy way to live in my personal opinion yeah you might still see results um, you might still lose weight but I just do not see that as a good option it's not healthy it's not really not really gaining anything from it apart from the taste which you forget about in five minutes after you've eaten it really good wholesome food that is good for you it's good for your mind good for your brain good for your sleeping your energy just good for everything so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions on my diet then please fire us an email or drop an insta message right here and that concludes my grocery haul so see you soon don't forget to subscribe